Hey, I'm Anfa. In this tutorial I want to show you how you can process your voice before sending it to an online meeting or a voice call or whatever you might want to do. If you're wondering why this tutorial has sick in the name, that's because I don't feel particularly well at the moment. That's why there is no video feed of my face. And that's why my voice sounds kind of low. Okay. I am, of course, running Linux. And this program here is called Carla. It's what we'll be using to reroute audio signals. The sound subsystem I'm using right now is Pipewire, which comes as default in some versions of Linux, like Fedora. In others, you would rather see Pulse Audio. Unfortunately, I don't have a tutorial for pure Pulse Audio. But if you are using Jack Audio Connection Kit with Pulse Audio, and you have the Pulse Audio Jack module, to make Pulse Audio talk to Jack, then this tutorial will look similarly. Only instead of ports named after your audio interface, you will have system, system, and instead of chromium, you will have Pulse Audio Sync and Pulse Audio Source. Actually, this will be sync. This will be the source. But it's just naming changes. Other than that, everything works the same. Let's go on. Right now, you are hearing exactly the same sound as my online meeting. I'm using Jitsi Meet. You might be using anything else. If I would like to say, add some reverb to my voice, all I have to do is right click in here, choose add plugin, find a plugin I want. I would like to use Ether, which is an excellent reverb plugin. Now I need to find it because Carla conveniently puts it somewhere else. And I think it's there. Let's click and grab it. Okay, now my microphone input comes from here. This is representing my microphone inputs left and right. I'm actually using two microphones right now. If I disconnect one of them, you will hear me only in the left ear. But I can connect this one microphone to both ears so it sounds comfortable. And I would usually do that, because otherwise it may sound weird and unpredictable. If we want to insert reverb, we just route the microphone to its inputs. Disconnect everything. Disconnect everything from the outputs. And reconnect output of the reverb. And now you should be hearing me with a nice lush reverb. You can double click on the effect node to open up its user interface and edit the settings like add more reverb, make it longer, make it so long you can't understand anything. Okay, that's not particularly useful at this case. You get the point. You can do whatever you want. And that's pretty much it. You can use any plugin you would like. Just add it and patch it in. Similarly, if you're, say, watching a YouTube video and someone is having a poor microphone and 
the sibilants are killing you. You may want to add a de before you feed that to your ears. Let's do it right now. You can also click here. Calf de is something I use a lot because it does the job well. Just need to find it. Because Carla really likes putting plugins in weird spots. And now I disconnect the outputs. This is where my YouTube video would feed me audio, and I put it to Calf de Esser and put it to playback then. Okay, this doesn't want to connect. Not sure why. Must be some quirk of pipe wire, because I'm using pipe wire. And that's all there is to it. If you want to go deeper, you could also use a MIDI controller to change parameters of your plugins in real time. Because why not? So I have conveniently put here this node that provides me with MIDI input from my MIDI controller. Every plugin in Carla will expose an events in MIDI port. MIDI ports are red, as you can see, and audio ports are blue. Now if I route this, I can feed this plugin information from my MIDI controller. If I right click on the plugin and choose edit, we have this nice window here. The first thing I would like to say is change this MIDI control channel to N. N means none, and if you don't do this, you may accidentally change some of these parameters by tweaking your knobs, because they are mapped automatically, and I don't like that. Now go to the Parameters tab, and here we have everything that the plugin exposes as controllable. The simplest thing to do is choose your control, click on the three dots, choose MIDI Learn, and now move a knob on your controller, or a slider, whatever. Carla detected what did you do, and assigned that controller to this parameter. Now I can change the amount of reverb without clicking my mouse or typing on my keyboard or any of that, so that could be convenient if you want to have some fun in an online call. Whatever you want to do. Okay, that's all for this video. Why wouldn't this connect? I don't know. I hope this was useful and you've learned something. Many people were asking me about this and it's taken me way too long to respond. So I hope this short tutorial will finally do it for you. If you have any questions about this or suggestions for future videos, please leave them in the comments section below. If you would like some assistance, you can also head over to my community chat at chat.anfa.xyz where you can find a lot of nerdy people like me who are having fun with open source software and Linux for making noises and they can help you out if you have any trouble. I'd also like to thank everyone who is supporting my work financially via Patreon and LibraPay. This is very appreciated and these are the people that let me keep making videos. So if you, dear viewer, would like to join them, please go to patreon.com slash anfa or liberapay.com slash anfa where you can give me a buck or two every month. Now, have some fun with processing your voice in online calls. Just don't do anything nasty, okay? <laughs>